What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Tyler the Gentleman. And for all y'all that want a piece of One Piece, welcome to Wano Peace. Haters get mad when I Luffy, boss up, who's he? Haters get mad when I Sanji, kicking it like Jet Li. Haters get mad when I Nami, that money come find me. Haters get mad when I Zoro, cut checks like Koro. Before we even start this video, I want to give a shout out to the Wano Peace Pirate Crew. If you want to join the Wano Peace Pirate Crew, hit that subscribe button below. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Wano underscore Peace for One Piece memes, cosplay, updates on the channel, and plenty of One Piece artwork. This week, we are recapping. This week, we are recapping chapters 431 through... Th this week, we are recapping chapters 431 through 440. Okay, so when we last left off, Zoro and everyone, they were fighting the captains, right? The sword that Zoro was given by the sword owner was destroyed by a captain that could just disintegrate his blade just by touching it. Now, we're back in Water 7 and the galley la. Actually, the thing about Zoro is, I wonder what he's going to do to get another sword and how great this sword is going to be because it seems like the swords, as we follow Zoro's story, I imagine that the swords he gathers are going to teach us more about the seven great swords and all these different types of swords that are out in the One Piece world. Alright, so the Galley Lot is rebuilding Water 7 and the Frankie family is the Frankie family is rebuilding their house. Sodom and Gamora are taking a nice rest so they can get back to good health. So it's good. I'm glad they didn't die because they scared me in that last few chapters. And the Lions are helping to rebuild Water 7 as well. So you can imagine with giants, the power that they have is going to get done a lot faster. They also offer Usopp to come back with them to Elbath since he likes it so much. Luffy is pulling an ace right now. He's eating while sleeping. Their whole family needs to get some rest. I guess they work harder than everyone else. They're on their Beyonce stuff, if you will. Okay, the items that the Frankly family bought with the money they stole from the Straw Hats just arrived. It's actually a special type of wood. This type of wood is called the treasure tree. It's known as treasure tree Adam, right? And this type of wood is, was used to rebuild civilizations after great wars. Now, Frankie's goal was to build a dream ship with this type of wood. This was the same wood that Tom used to build the Pirate King Roger's ship. Now, the Oro Jackson Pirate King Roger ship was the only ship to sail all the way around the Grand Line. So now Luffy and them will have a ship. Frankie wants to create the ship and give it to them in order for them to be able to go through the whole Grand Line with this ship. That was his dream and they need a new ship and he could pay them back this way. Vice Admiral Garp arrived at Water 7 and it appeared he was there to arrest the Straw Hats. But actually what we find is he's actually Luffy's granddad which is pretty crazy. This family is wild, man. Vice Admiral Garp is the only one, he's the one who cornered Pirate King Roger at the end of his reign. He told his men to wait outside and brought two of his men with him. They, these two men fought Luffy and fought Zoro and were defeated pretty quickly. But we come to find out that it was Kobe and Helmeppo, the son of Axe King Morgan. So this is a cool, nice little reunion. They get to talk in. Nobody really cares about Helmeppo, but there, it's cool to see that Kobe is stronger, faster, and he's actually a Marine, and he's training to be a Admiral. He's training to be a top Marine officer. Now, Vice Admiral Garp's full name is Monkey D. Garp, or Garp the Fist. And he knocks Luffy around a little bit and uh, tells him that he was supposed to be a Marine, not a pirate. We find out that this whole family they have Garp is a Marine, Luffy's a pirate, his brother Ace is a pirate, and their father is Dragon. Dragon is actually the leader of the Rebellion Army. So like the Rebel Army. His name is Monkey D. Dragon. And he's the most wanted man in the world because he's the leader of the Revolutionary Army. What we also learn about Marine warships is they have Karoseki stones on the bottom of them. And this makes them make sea kings see them the same way they would see the sea. So they just look like regular sea. So the sea kings don't attack. This makes it so that 
uh, marine warships can cross the calming belts. Saves them a lot of time and effort when they can just cross through the calming belts and get to where they need to be. A doctor, Dr. Vegapunk is the one in charge uh, of this technology, or he created this technology. Kobe speaks very, very highly of them. I'm sure he'll pop up again at some point. We're going to meet this guy. Hopefully, maybe they'll even get some of that Karasaki stones on their ship. Now, the second half of the Grand Line is called the New World. And I guess it's because the first half of the Grand Line is hard enough to get through. The second half has to be even more treacherous. And I believe this is where Red Hair Shanks and also Whitebeard reside. So they hang out in this far area called the New World. So Luffy and his crew always have a big feast after every battle. And you know what? I can't even blame them. Because after a war, after a big battle like that, you're facing life and death. It's time to eat. Now, Admiral Aokiji, you know he rides his little bike across the water. And he sneaks up into the feast and talks with Nico Robin. And he says that uh, Saul was his friend, right? Vice Admiral Saul the Giant was his friend. And he said, only reason I'm letting you escape is because I'm doing a service to my friend. It was his last wishes, right? Now, the reason he's doing, that's the reason he's doing this. And he tells her, are you, are you where you're supposed to be? So he said it's his, it's his duty to watch what she does with her life because he listened to Saul that day on O'Hara. He wants to find out if Saul's decision to let her get away, to help her get away, was correct. So he's always watching, but at the same time, this means that Admiral Aokiji might feel like the government isn't always right about everything. So I'm hoping, you know what I mean, I, I didn't like him at first when he froze Nico Robin, but at the same time, he didn't kill her when he could have. And now he sees that the Straw Hats love Robin, and they're going to ride for her the same way she's going to ride for them. Now, there's a Grand Line Holy Land named Mary Oa, or Mary Joa. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below how to pronounce that. Hey, I'm learning as I go along. Now, Red Haired Shanks and Whitebeard, or Edward Newgate, are Yonko. I think this means like the almost like emperors of the sea. So they're people that are very high up, they're very revered, people people respect them. So in that New World area, they pretty much run things. Now Shanks broke through this area because they had them, they had Shanks and Whitebeard split up for the longest, the Marines. Shanks broke through in order to speak to Whitebeard. Whitebeard's first and third division commanders, Marco and Josh, went to meet Shanks. Now, when Shanks came on the ship, numerous people fell unconscious. And they said that you have to have ambition in order to, you know, not be knocked out by his attacks, which is kind of crazy. That means he has some type of mental power. I'm still not sure if Shanks has a devil fruit, but I remember when he got his arm bitten off when he saved Luffy in the beginning, he kind of looked at the Sea King and the Sea King just left. So that has to mean something. So we find out that Shanks used to be an apprentice on Goldie Roger's ship. What this means is that Buggy was also because him and Buggy were on the same ship and that same ship means Goldie Roger produced a lot of the top pirates in the world today that we see which is kind of cool. That just goes to show that not only was he good at being himself he was also a good leader in training up good men as well. For some reason Red Haired Shanks had a duel with Hawkeye's Mihawk. We're not sure why but that explains why when Mihawk went to tell him about Luffy, he did. He said he's not trying to fight a man that only has one arm. And I guess that's because he was thinking there might be a rematch between them two. Shanks has a scar on his eye, and that's from Blackbeard, a.k.a. Teach. And this is the guy that Firefist Ace is following and chasing after. Shanks talks to Whitebeard and asks him, to tell Shanks to stop chasing. Whitebeard is kind of like, no, I'm not going to tell Shanks to stop chasing him because he killed one of our family and these people are like my sons. He's not going to get away with it. But Shanks feels like Fire Fist isn't ready for that for whatever reason. At this very moment, we switch over to where Ace is and Ace meets up with Blackbeard. The Galila and Iceberg are helping Frankie build the ship for the Straw Hats. So you got all the top people helping build this ship based off a blueprint from Frankie. This is great because the top people in Water 7 are building a ship 
for the straw hats. And it's made from the same wood that the Oro Jackson was built from. Fishman Island is the next island that the log post says that the Straw Hats will be headed to. Okay, there's a place called the Florian Triangle, and basically that's where you have to go to get to Fishman Island, but 14 ships alone in this very month alone have already disappeared from there. So that's kind of crazy. Good thing they're going to have a great ship because they're going to need it. Okay, so all the Straw Hats now have a bounty after that last battle against the CP9 where they waged war against the world government. My question though, is who's taking these pictures? Like the pictures look like, I don't know, how did you get these pictures so close, so good, except for Sanji's picture. Sanji's picture looks hand drawn, which is kind of crazy. But I'm like, is Spider-Man taking your pictures? Did you guys hire her? Did you guys hire Peter Parker? Because that's the only way you can get these shots so close or from some of these crazy angles. Another funny thing other than Sanji's picture being hand drawn is that Chopper's bounty is only 50. And he's like, I know they have to be, there has to be a mistake. And it's just hilarious. Okay, so they tried to take a picture of Sanji, but it appears they might have had the lens on and that's why they didn't get a picture of him. Not sure if this has any significance, but we'll keep finding out if they ever get the right picture of Sanji. Spider-Man's there getting the picture, so he's going to get one sooner or later. Also, Frankie has a bounty. Does that now mean he's a part of the Straw Hats? Actually, the Frankie family want the Straw Hats to take Frankly, Frankie along with them. They even take Frankie's pants and run and toss it around, and as he's chasing them, they lead him to the Straw Hats in order for the Straw Hats to ask him to be a part of their crew because one they need a, a shipwright in order to fix the ship because Usopp can't do it and Chopper can barely protect his own self but it's funny they're running through the town and he's just chasing them down with no draws on because they took his pants so this new ship is is the going is two times as big as the going Mary and it's called a sloop at the end of the day Luffy told Frankie chased them through the city with no pants on. We're talking hide your kids, hide your wife, because nobody wants to see that. And Luffy asked him, he said, if you want your pants back, you have to join my crew. And Frankie joined. So we have a new member of the Straw Hat Pirates. And if you want to be a new member of the Wild Piece Pirate Crew, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button below. Okay, so now they're kind of in a rush because Garp is chasing them. He's just doing his job because Admiral OPG is in the ship with him now too. And um, they're chasing him. Robin grabs Frankie by the gonads and makes him uh, make his decision a little bit faster. So now they're in the ship, they're going away, and they're being chased by Garp, who is throwing cannonballs, which have the force that is way faster and harder than if they were shot out of the cannon itself. Usopp hurries up to the ship, apologizes, and they let him rejoin the crew. Zoro wasn't going to allow Usopp to join the crew if he did not apologize because that lowers the standards of the crew. He has to recognize what he did was wrong and you can't just leave the crew like that. If you leave the crew, you're out the crew. The ship's name is Thousand Sun, which is pretty cool. They have an a ongoing sun reference in One Piece and that's pretty cool too because the Straw Hats bring light everywhere they go. The Cooks of Barati are also laughing at Sanji's likeness, which is pretty funny. Um, Luffy's town is celebrating. Usopp's town doesn't believe it's him. Kaya, the girl who gave them the going Mary, is training to be a doctor so she can heal all of Usopp's wounds. Guess Usopp's gonna have a little lady wait for him when he gets back. Zoro Sensei is kind of proud, but he also doesn't want his students thinking being a pirate is okay. And Nami's village thinks she's sexier. They have posters of her everywhere. Um, but they think that people are going to try and capture her heart and not her bounty. Now back to Blackbeard and Ace. Blackbeard killed the 4th Division Commander Suchi because he had, Suchi had the devil fruit that he wanted. Teach said this devil fruit actually makes his body become darkness. At this point, Ace and Blackbeard stand off. Ace has already kind of defeated the other guys that are with him and he's facing off against Blackbeard. Blackbeard calls his men off like, you guys can't handle him, only I can. And that's where these chapters end. Let me catch you up on the short comics. Okay, so Anel found someone in the hole in the moon and he attacked him without saying anything. Of course, that's a, such an Anel move to do. And um, 
This guy is Junior Lieutenant Spacey. He regrets running from the enemy, but he takes it now to a place where you see that other soldiers have been defeated. And all of these soldiers are a little bit different. Each one is dressed in a different way, like a different soldier from a different time period. Junior, Junior Lieutenant Spacey is dressed like maybe World War II, then you got one guy that's dressed like a Roman guard, and everybody's a little bit different. So someone approaches them from behind, and a space pirate grabs Spacey. We'll have to find out what happens next time. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what was your favorite part of these 10 chapters. The Grand Line is a rough place. You're going to need a tough pirate crew. So why not join the Wano Peace Pirate Crew? Just hit that subscribe button below. Thanks for watching this one. Peace.